When me and Earl pulled up, we immediately saw a little skinny baby trying to get inside of a trash can. And so a clear sign that she was starving or hungry. But it was sealed off pretty tightly, but she was still trying. I get the other side and kind of walk towards her. I'm gonna walk that way, come around. The neighborhood the dog was in is a lot of houses they could go under. So we have to move real slow and be careful that we don't scare this dog into a dangerous situation. What's up, puppy? Try to cut him off. What's up, puppy? Here you come, Sizzle. Hey, baby. Come here, poor boy. Get the food, Sizzle. Here you come, come here. Here you come, my baby. Let him come to you. Come on. Good baby. Hey. We good, we good. Done good, bro. Good good, my baby. Give him some more, Sizzle. Give him some more. All right, good baby. Joey, they be liking that. You got dried livers. <laughs> no, you okay. I always try to hide my leash a little bit, because some dogs, especially ones that's been chained up or tied out on something, if they see you know, your leash sometimes, they might just flee thinking they're about to be grounded again. So, little girl? Uh, it's looking like a little girl. That's OK, mama. OK. We'll take care of you, OK? Make my little sound with it so she kind of It's OK, mama. we go. Get that baby a little hey, mama girl. Just looking at the baby, man, she was so, like, skinny. You could tell she hasn't had any consistent feeding for a while. Oh, that little baby, flea Good infested. Girl. We're going to have to give her a bath feed. She got fleas Good all girl. over her leg. She obviously hadn't had a bath in a long time, and she was real kind of ate up. She was covered in fleas. Her fur looked real rough. Let's see if we coast her to this crate. Come on, let's go. Come on, mama. Good girl. Come on, mama. It's OK. Girl, man, I you. think we might have to put it on the ground. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Because she ain't going to want to jump up. Like, she kind of hesitant to my hands. Yeah. By the looks of it, you could tell this poor little girl had been through hell. So me and Tony just try to be as gentle as possible, getting her into the crate. I don't want to shake up too bad before we get there. It's OK. You got your baby. Huh. One more. All right. Let's go, my baby. Let's go. See if she likes you. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Get the tweets. Get the tweets. I know. There we go. I got you. I know. I did it bad. She got a little timid as we neared the crate. I kind of got her to walk. Of course, she saw this little cage thing and she slammed on brakes a little. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. There she goes. I'm worried about it. Yeah. Get in there. I just have to do the little push in the back. Come on. Oh, she's. <laughs> Come on. I know. Uh uh, Susan, don't force her. At first, she was going kind of smooth and she slammed on brakes a little. But it's like best to let them do it on their own and not force them. It's okay, babe. Come on, mama. She ain't going in though. We need some meat. It. In the car, there was a can of weenies that I thought the dog would be more interested in than the dry food. Girl, I got your lunch out the car. <laughs> but we were so poor, we used to eat so many of these. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. There you go. Have that. Come on. Good girl. Good baby. One more leg. Gotcha. Good job, Silly. And that way, we didn't have to traumatize. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't want to create no kind of trauma in a situation where that dog ends up not liking crates or something like that. It's OK, Mama. We got you. Let's go. So luckily, we was able to get our attention with the food, and we eventually got her inside the crate. Good girl. All right, then, Mama. She don't like the fruity, Jenny. <laughs> oh, it's OK. Be careful. Regardless of how she got out or how she got in that situation, I'm glad we found her and we're able to do the things we need to. All right, we come in, Mama. Be good. Our next step is just getting into Villa Lobos, getting her settled in so she could begin the healing process. We got you, baby. Let's go, Daffy. I'm gonna go see what the verdict is. What's up, puppy? Here you come, Sizzle. Here you come, baby. Let him come to you. 
A good little guy. So a few weeks ago, me and Earl found a skinny little boxer mix. She was so undernourished, she was literally eating out the trash. Good, good. So cute, so sad. Let's go. Good girl. We settled in at the rescue, and she's starting to gain weight. Which is tough. Good girl. Mama, we love you. We're going to take care of you, baby. But during her medical intake, Heidi found out she had heartworms and some skin infections we're going to have to take care of. If we can get you started. That's some heartworm. Right there, Mama. How y'all doing today? Had daffodil. Yeah, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Is that 50? Oh, that's great. Tia decided to name her Daffodil because she's blossomed so much since those 34 pounds we found her at. Once you get your weight up, we could do all kind of things, start further in the process. Hey there. Hey, how y'all doing? How are we doing today? today? Oh my gosh, look she's at so her. She's thick and spunky. I'm glad you all found her. Yeah. She was in rough shape. Yeah, she's been so sweet yeah, since we got cute. her. She's young, too. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, she's a good girl. Daffodil seems like a really happy, still very young, spirited dog. But I didn't want to start heartworm treatment until she's at her ideal weight. She looks amazing. She's so a few little spots. Yeah, so check out her so. skin. So she's gained 16 pounds, so it's awesome. Y'all are doing a good job with the weight. Perfect. So um, she is heartworm positive, so we do want to go ahead and get her started on the first medication for the treatment right. now that she's, she's at healthy. the weight. That's yes, right. exactly. Good. It is a very long process of heartworm treatment. It takes three months. So we're going to get her started on the first step, which is an antibiotic that works to kill a bacteria that lives with the heartworms. I want to check her skin out to see right. what's going on with that. Hey, cutie. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like this is most of the skin issue here. Yeah, she's kind of dry and flaky. I'm gonna actually make a little impression of her skin to look under the microscope. Okay, so this is letting me get, see what uh, she has bacteria or yeast or both on her skin and what we need to treat. So we'll start with that. She looks great otherwise, so I'm really happy with everything. Okay, perfect. She can run around, Andre, while I take a look at this. I'll be right back in. Her skin, she does still have a bit of an infection going on. All right, so she's still got a lot of bacteria on her skin. So we're gonna up her antibiotic to something a little stronger to try to clear that up. Um, medicated baths would be good, especially to try to help exfoliate a lot of that uh, flaking skin. But otherwise, she's very, very healthy. All right, she's doing good. She's doing good. She's on track. All right. <laughs> it's a relief to hear that daffodils healthy despite the hard worms and the skin bacteria. So we're going to follow the doctor's orders and hope she makes a full recovery soon. Bye, daffodil. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Have a good day. This way, baby.